Welcome to Hydroplane Racing. If you've got no idea of what's going on, I'll give you a very quick rundown. The boats all set off round a centre pole connected by a wire. The idea, of course, is to achieve the highest speed. When it's your turn, you have three minutes to start your engine or start the prop. If you can't do it in that time, you have to pull out and let the next uh, competitor have a go. If you manage to get started okay, you attach a bungee to your boat. This is because a lot of the hydroplanes only stay on the surface of the water because of their forward speed. So the bungee just gives them that initial jump forward before the engine can do the rest of the work. Once your boat is rotating, you listen to the engine. The minute you think it's got its best performance, you can hear the engine peeking out, you raise your hand. You are then timed for five laps and the overall speed you get in that five laps is what goes down to you. If your boat stops before the five laps, then you're not counted. So that is just a quick idea. Um, I hope it helps. I've been told that some of the uh, competitors have travelled hundreds of miles today just to take part in this event. Um, the setting up is like most model clubs. People arrive dragging tables and trolleys with little gazebos and uh, get the boats on top, open up the toolboxes and get established. Uh, there's a little uh, communications table where they do all the timing from. They take a small entrance fee which goes to help out keep the clubs going. Apart from that, it all looks quite familiar. But of course, once the boats get underway, it's nothing like an ordinary model club. I mean, the boats rotate at 100 miles an hour and more, depending on the weather conditions. They also tell me that hydroplane racing has been going now for more than 100 years, so by uh, no means is it uh, a new sport. The only trouble is, of course, there's less and less places for them to compete. You know, I mean, people don't like you going fast, they don't like the sound, you might affect the animals, uh, the muck from the engines might pollute the water, uh, and it goes on and on and on. The trouble is the engines no longer pollute the water because the new fuels biodegrade. But anyway, that's another argument. So let's settle down today and uh, see what's going on.
Each competitor pays a small competing fee, which all goes towards the club funds. And another thing which is the norm, if you organise anything in this country, it's not long before the weather takes a hand. And sure enough, it rained. Not too long, for about half an hour, then it cleared up. So it wasn't too bad. Bob's off to go and get me a hat. I'll just have to put up with it until then.
many of the faces you see at this meeting, you will see all over the country. And a lot of them travel abroad for competitions as well. And of course, you get to the start line and the boat won't start. The, try, the worse it gets. Oh, oh, I've said that, haven't I? Oh, well.
Well, we must leave the hydros for today because we ourselves have over a hundred miles to get back home. Um, but what we have noticed, there's a lovely little old inn on the corner of the park and we seem to be drawn towards it. So we must get ourselves something to eat before we go and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.